This is our review of Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episodes 1 through 6 in under 5 minutes, give or take. Set two months after the events of 2023's Mutant Mayhem, the series follows the Turtles as they navigate their dual lives as both teenagers and heroes in New York City. In the first story arc, the Turtles are separated while facing Bishop, a villain who plans to eliminate all mutants. They must deal with being alone for the first time and reunite to save mutant kind. Todd, tell people why they should or shouldn't be watching Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think you should be watching it because it still manages to maintain a lot of what was great about Mutant Mayhem, and it translates well to the more episodic style of a traditional cartoon series. As far as animation goes, that's probably the big selling point with this show. Mutant Mayhem had a very Into the Spider-Verse, kind of CGI, hand-drawn vibe to it. Tales of the TMNT returns to the classic 2D art style with a self-described kind of raw and rough punk rock feel. What did you think of the animation in these first six episodes? Well, I do think the animation style in Mutant Mayhem was better. You know, obviously when you translate to a episodic cartoon series, you got to scale some of that back. You got to make it simpler for, you know, episode TV. But it was really good, I thought. I thought it was close enough to what Mayhem was, and, and, it, and it worked. Yeah, I would agree with you. I think it's absolutely solid. It's again, we're not we don't have feature film budget here, but as far as animation goes, like that kind of sketch look that a show has, I think it serves it well for like a, a TMNT show. I think it works very, very well. For story, how did you like the story in arc one, Todd? Any standout moments or favorite episodes? I think it was a good initial arc. I mean, I don't think there was anything really amazing or earth shattering here, to be honest, but I think it kind of built upon what we'd already knew from Mutant Mayhem. I really liked how they kind of kept the play and the banter between the Turtles. They're still really obviously teenagers here, first and foremost. And, you know, they still got that humor. Uh, I really, for some reason, enjoyed that solo Donatello episode. There's some scenes where he's on that subway car, and there's like an older guy that's kind of there as the pilot because it's mostly, you know, all controlled by computers now. And at one point, he's like, dude, can you even see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I do remember yeah, watching that yeah, one. That, that was a great I don't one. know why, but that really stuck out as a, as a good one to me. I liked it. Yeah, that was a good episode. And most of the season is built around the Turtles, the, at least the start of the season. They're alone. They're on their own. It's yeah. not four brothers. It's one turtle on their own, yeah. kind of somewhere doing their own solo store, and I think it works very well. Um, as far as wanting more, Todd, Todd, did the first six episodes of Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show you enough to kind of convince you to finish up the final six episodes of season one? I did enjoy this first six. You know, like I say, I thought they were, I thought they were solid. You know, yeah, I mean, nothing major, nothing earth shattering, but I mean, I thought that was it was good. Uh, like I say, the banter between the turtles was fun. Uh, the humor is still there. The style I still enjoy. I mean, I look forward to the final six. I, I'll definitely watch them. While Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles may be a downgrade from Mutant Mayhem when it comes to style, pacing, and soundtrack, it makes up for it with great voice performances, animation, and action. Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles earns a 7 from us, which ranks it as good. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Feel free to send us an email or get in touch with us on social media. Tal Capes will return. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys. Bye guys.